utilizer, the wireless tablet and a computer within uh, English class. So first you can put your textbook or any support that you have under the camera and using my tablet I can zoom in the text so you see clearly the part that you want and autofocus of course so here I can see the text, it's clear enough for me and I want to read together with my students so I just come in here and use the mask, uh, the mask button for, uh, sorry and I can read the text together with my students if I want for example to study the past sentences I can add annotations and while reading the text with my students I can add annotations whenever, for example, here I see a verb that is on um, past tense. So, for example, here we can say this is an irregular verb because found and is the verb to find. It's an irregular verb. And here it's an irregular verb because the termination is ed in the past for supervised, for example. And I can highlight it again like this, for example. So this supervised regular verb, irregular verb for a found. So this is some basic um, examples that you can use within your um, English class. Of course, I can add more annotations and I can save my image like this. Capture the image and save it and use it uh, later for review if I want. visualizer and the tablet as an interactive whiteboard and this by selecting the whiteboard mode on your tablet and as you can see we have different backgrounds in here so you can choose from so let's say for example we have in a math class so I can just go in here to the stamps and I can insert let's say the coins so you need to double click, then insert, go back again to the stamps, double click, and insert. And thanks to my pen, I just add the annotations and write. So 100 plus 50 is 150. I can also add some more um, stamps. Example. Excellent. So as you can see here, you can use Elmo uh, Classroom Solutions as an interactive whiteboard without having to stay next to your whiteboard and like uh, touch it directly. But you can move around your class and use the exact the same function using the wireless tablet. So for our geography class, I placed a globe under a camera. And thanks to the flexible arm and head of my camera, I can just project a 3D object. So um, I will take my tablet and I can zoom the part I'm interested with, like this. So zoom in, autofocus, zoom in again, probably, autofocus. So here we can. For example, study European uh, capitals. So, for example, Greece, just I can add annotations while underlining uh, Greece, and I can say that the capital is Athens. Then we have Italy, the capital is Rome. We have France, the capital is Paris. So, this is one of the options that we can use uh, with, uh, within a uh, geography class. Also another option is probably you can split the screen into two to compare two images and this by clicking in here, like this, split screen. And here we can compare probably the um, a size of a country and another, like Greece for example, here, so Greece, this is a Greece, and then we can compare it to any live image um, in another country using my globe, just like this. So here I have Japan. 
So as you can see, I could add my annotations on, uh, directly on a three-dimensional object and at the same time compare uh, two images, a live one here and um, a still image. So for my biology class, we will study today the flower structure. So I put um, a flower under my camera and thanks to my wireless tablet, I can enlarge the image so I can zoom in. Autofocus. And as you can see here, we can see even the tiny little details that we could not see before, like the pollen in here. So we're going to move to the uh, teaching creation mode, which is the fourth mode on your tablet. So by Pressing in here, as you can see, we have the remote control that appears on your screen. So we will not use it for now, so we can just close it. And I can ask my students, for example, to identify the photo parts. So I will just take this as A, probably this part as B, and finally. C. And I can ask my students for uh, to name each part of the flower. So let's say the answers were A is stigma, E is petal, and C was tannin. Um, let's write it in. So what I can do now is compare my students' answers to the answers I have saved on my computer. So I have an image on my computer with the answers that I can insert, drag and stick on the image. So click on image, like this, and here is the one I want to insert, open, and probably just inserted in here. So I can change my pen's color to the red one and we can correct together with the students. So A is stigma. Stigma is this part. So stigma is correct. B is petal. Where is the petal? Petal is here. So petal is correct. And finally C is stamen and stamen is correct too, so stamen is correct. Uh, what I can do, as you can see here, uh, it's good because students can compare a live real image with uh, the image I have on the textbook. Sometimes it can be confusing for students when they see this part in here, like the blue color, so probably they would think the stigma is blue, while in real color it's this color so they can compare uh, two images. Of course, after this, because it's teaching creation mode, we can save our work by clicking on Save As, and the image is saved on your computer. To view your image, you just need to click in here, which is import mode. So I just click, and as you can see, my image is right here saved that I can use later for a review class or that I can send and share with other students. Okay, so today for the chemistry class we have a special experiment for you and it's the milk experiment. So what we need is a few little bit of whole fat milk, a few drops of food coloring, And we need a liquid soap. So I'm going to use a cotton swab and put just a little bit of soap on it. And I need a volunteer. Thank you. So at three, can you please just uh, put the cotton swab directly on the milk, okay? And at the same time, I can use my wireless tablet to start the recording. 
okay, and annotate at the same time. So at three, just press it. Okay, so what I say, just a moment. Okay, one, two, three, go. So as you can see, the recording has started and you can see the icon here that shows us. And we can add the annotations here. You can see there is a reaction. So what do you think is happening here? So the thing is the milk is a combination of fat and protein. Thank you. And uh, the soap has micelles in it. So what happens when we put the cut a swab is that the soap is breaking the fat and protein that is on the milk. So I'm going to stop the recording like this. And I can play my video again. To do so, I need to go to the import mode, just here. Click on it. And I can import my video. It's right here. So as you can see here, we have the video playing again with the annotations. I can still add more annotations to uh, the video, more explanations or comments, of course. And I can play it again and again if I want to come back probably for some uh, important part of the video. And of course, the video is saved on my computer, so I can use it again for some review class or share it for, uh, with other students who were probably absent during this day. Thank you.